What's happening, guys? Dave here, getting into doors, and today I'm coming at you from the laboratory. I've been doing a little painting. I've taken a bit of time off and uh, gotten rusty. So, anyways, that doesn't matter. I I made a promise to the everybody when I said when I hit a thousand, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I bet that was at 700. I said that. So right now I'm about 720. So keep subscribing, guys, because you're going to get in on this. Uh, things I'm going to be giving away are some of the stuff I build. Well, paint. Uh, I painted this, which is a rainbow trout. That looks nice. Put it up there. Let me know if you want me to give that away. How about uh, one of these little believers? Should I give that away? Nice little perch pattern. Uh, let me know. Should I give it away? Should I give it away? Should I give it away? Anyway, how about this little brook trout? Hmm, not bad. Let me know if I should give that away. And this old duck's been kicking around for a while. Should I give him away? Probably. Uh, all you have to do to get in on this is subscribe. It's down in one of these two corners somewhere. And I don't think I'll add too much as far as other things you got to do. Uh, just subscribe and um, help me get to that 1000 number. This video though will be, I'm going to do a frog. I'm actually going to do three frogs. It's easy, just as easy to paint three frogs as it is one frog. So what I'm going to do is paint up three of these. I'll throw one of these in the mix as well. There'll be a, maybe a chapeau or two and maybe a t-shirt coffee mug who knows uh all right start her off white gotta prime this thing i'm not gonna worry about the tail taping it up or anything uh, it's a rubber tail i don't think the paint will stick to it anyways and if it does eh, whatever all right i'm gonna hit her with some glows in the black light Neon yellow. Not gonna go too dark with that, just uh, hit it here, hither and thither. Couple little spots. Should stay away from the belly because I did plan on making that white. Here's another one. Because I got a little bit of a uh, neon yellow up underneath, I'm going to have to go with some white pearl. Remember the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, Black Pearl? Well, this is going to be, gee willigers, guys, this is a, oh by gosh, it's the white pearl. <laughs> white pearl. Up under the belly. I gotta get a little bit of a spot here. This nice stencil I cut out. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna put it right about there. And I don't want a lot of black on there. So I turn that. Ooh, I got lots of water on there. This again. So I don't want a lot of black. I just want a nice little light outline of black. be somewhat like that something else i'm going to do is take one of these little cards that i got a bunch of little things cut out on and try and get a couple of more little black marks on the back end of them somewhere and uh, see how that goes you guys can see that or not can't too bad i guess Too bad, not too bad. All right, my next step, I got some white. Better turn that down a little bit. I'm gonna test my my drinking hand. See how how I've been doing. Freehand stuff. I'm not very good at this freehand stuff. a little bit of a white in there i am going to try it with all these little black dots but i think you guys will be putting too much pressure on me so <laughs> all right fine i'll do one i'll do one this is gonna suck 
I don't even know which one of these I lined up last. Ooh, now it's moving. Huh, not so good. Freehand it is. Huh, not bad. There's a paint. Come on, paint. Tips dry. Okay, I got a little bit coming out. All right, mixed up a little bit of kind of like a dirt, olive greeny sort of. Just want to give it a little more, uh, a few dark, darker spots. You guys didn't see any of that. Something I'm going to do with a paint pen, a really fine tip paint pen, is I'm just going to draw lots of little dots on top. I hope. I got some paint coming over. So, this is going to be, it's going to look like pepper flakes. So, I don't know whether you can see that. Just light little pepper flakes. I want that on the top and the bottom. This thing's got to be perfectly up and, up and down there. It doesn't work. I found the eyes I want to use. I want to use these nice little lizard looking eyes. I don't know if you can see them. But they do have a line straight up and down. Um, if you don't use a little drop of super glue, check my Instagram for the last YouTube short I made. And you'll, you'll see why you should be using a little drop of super glue. Because these things do not... Ooh, want to stay on their own a little of these things these things are called tweezers so. same pen I gotta write my little signature under here somewhere all these scribbled numbers are just my different ratios of clear coat so it's a two-part epoxy one part two part for no particular reason <clears throat> I picked 2.22 grams of part A. <sighs> I did put way too much in. I'm at 250. So, I'm going to try something. <gasps> it's getting worse. Oh, no. Still not there. Whew! 2.21. That was ugly. 2.22. Close enough. Now I'm going to zero that back out. This one's going to be 1.92. Can't do that again. There's no way I'm going to get part B out of here now. 1.92. Better stop. 1.94. Well, guess what? That's going to do. So 
don't have to. This little scale is uh, good for measuring clear coat. I gotta mix this for five minutes. So while we're waiting for that to happen, let's play a game. Here, pick a finger. Wait, I'll mix them up. So I got the true coat and the wife's wet hair machine. And this stuff here seems to work better when it's a little bit warmed up. Right about the point where your fingers start to get really, really hot, but when you stop. Ah, uh, just a little bit after that. It's ah, so hot. And you just smear it on. Brush her on there real good. Hopefully I made enough. If not, make more. Alright, let's get her turning. Huh, magic. Better stop a big grip there. This is true coat or true coat or true glide. I think it's the same stuff. Two part epoxy. It's made by Joe Peterson. <clears throat> uh, pretty good stuff, in my opinion. Not paying me to say that, just Seems to be the best clear coat I've found. I struggled with plenty of different clear coats. Even this stuff here has given me uh, some moments where I've pulled out my hair. Tried to. Wanted to. Wanted to pull out Joe Peterson's hair probably a couple of times. But made her. Kind of figured out how to do it. That's why I warm it up first. Makes it smear around a little easier. And when I'm looking for the last few spots that I missed, I do it when I'm spinning. Basically, all I'm doing is using up the rest of this clear coat. And uh, I'll check in on you guys in a couple of hours. Well, there they are, spinning. Don't really look like a regular frog. Kind of look like a, a little bit like a poison, poison. Yeah, that's what I was trying to make was poison dart frogs. These are the poison dart frogs I was going to make. And uh, they're going to be in the free giveaway stuff. And uh, who knows, maybe some of this junk can be there too. But in order to do it, you got to subscribe. All right, so thanks for watching. Till next time, see you on the water or down here in the basement.